Cheers, and welcome my friends, I'm Horatrak, and we are playing Imperator Rome with the 1.2 Cicero patch. Welcome back to our Athens playthrough. So, yeah, we still I'm still trying to find a mean, uh, means and ways to break off from uh, from Frigia, but it's not easy, for sure. Um, they're allied with Rome now, and it's difficult to find an opening like in EU4 I kind of know how to facilitate an opening myself but in Imperator it's a lot more difficult Macedon is just growing like crazy so that's a bit of a problem mm. Mm. but we have to like we have to get going otherwise we're gonna have real problems here with Macedon too like they got 76 cohorts making a very decent chunk of money mm. Okay, we have a trade hub developing in Imbros. The little known city of Imbros has been gathering quite a reputation as a hub of free trade. People from all origins are beginning to flock here in order to sell their wares in our land. So we could encourage uh, merchants, the laboring class, slaves, or just promote investment. Hmm. I encourage merchants from abroad, I think. So this is nice, getting some additional pops with 177. I kind of want to let my aggressive expansion die down a little bit um, and then go raiding again. Just because I'm having some food problems. And uh, yeah, we probably have to invest here to get an additional, an additional import route too. Because as this territory grows in population, actually that's not great with the with the two additional citizens that this area has to push. Um, okay, well, this is fine. So we have an outgoing migration, we have an incoming migration. Hmm. Weirdly enough, this place has like two temples. I'm not sure why we need two temples. Mm, but we can we can just leave it for now. It doesn't cost any upkeep, so why not? Come on, please, sell me some food. No. And we have another military tradition. Military tradition. That's actually really quick. Mm. We got the heavy infantry morale. I wonder if I shouldn't just go down the left thing after this. Heavy infantry offense is a pretty nice, nice thingy though. Uh, let's go cohort ex starting experience and reduce the decay. That should probably give us additional military experience. Maybe. I have a petition to remove our governor of Thrace. Um, no, it's really disloyal. It's really disloyal. Okay, we're gonna remove him. This gives me an opportunity. Goodbye. Put someone on there who's actually loyal enough. He's prominent and greedy. Well, screw you, sir. Oh, look at this. This guy's from a scorned family. If I can do it, I will actually go ahead and... Oh, he also has only nine loyalty. Yeah, sorry. No can do. I could use this guy, maybe. Son of the researcher. Okay, that's gonna remove one of the scorned families, at least, I hope. That's something then. We've got 82 pops now in Athens. Um, our uh, research efficiency has recovered now that we've made people into. Um, citizens again, so that's pretty good. We really need to. That's that's a one handle that we have on these guys. These guys five. These guys are at, at two. Where's Rome at four? And we are at ten, nine, nine, and ten. So the gap gets bigger and bigger. Military restructuring. Kaliakos Kaliakid has initiated a wide-ranging restructuring of the officers under his command. He assures us that this will allow for a more efficient command hierarchy. Curiously, our attaché has noted that officers with strong republican ideals are not receiving any promotions yet. It's hard to deny the effectivity of this move. 
You may become more ambitious. Yeah. Let's uh, let's just insist on including all officers, right? Come on, please sell me a wares. We'll lose capital bonus, opinion. Yeah, we could definitely do with a little bit of a better um, opinion. Okay. Let's put this guy in charge. Ah, damn it. Damn. Damn populist faction. Almost done for this term. This guy's fallen ill. Mm. The ruling faction always gets a lot of support. I feel. That's, ooh, capital import route. Okay. I mean, now we have two import routes that we can't use. Apart from wood. Okay, sure, I get some wood from Tribalia. I mean, wood surplus is always nice because it increases taxes. But still. Um, now, I wonder if that output increase actually also relates to food output. But it probably doesn't. Yeah. We need some food imports here for these two. Come on, guys. Liberation. The Council of Oropos has taken it upon themselves to free a sizable quantity of privately owned slaves. We could intervene if we think it best. Letting slaves get too comfortable could have repercussions. Yeah, I'm gonna take the money. I mean... Lost the researcher, and now a different guy is in control. That's actually pretty good. Okay, put him in charge. Nice. And suddenly, we're actually gaining a very decent chunk of influence again. That is very good. Ooh, that's, that's more wood that we could import. Or more vegetables, actually. But maybe we'll just go olives. Do we have olives? We have... One unit of olives, so we could get the capital bonus. National slave happiness is not a bad idea at all. We're selling the vegetables. Ah, oh, it's these guys again. Olives. It's Rome. That's almost as bad. That is almost as bad. A gift from Frigia. Improving our <laughs> improving our opinion. I don't want it. I don't want to be integrated. Your soldiers can't hit a barn yet. <laughs> all all the seats, all the seats in the Senate are behind um, annoying these guys with insults. Your blood will infuse the very soil we walk on. <laughs> yes, they're gonna have a rebellion. Please. And we're in a war with Egypt. Okay, that kind of isn't as much of a problem for me now. I really hope that... So Rome is at war with Egypt. You're fighting Egypt, Andros and Kors. I really hope this goes badly for them. That's what I want. Let's go... Bring down the aggressive expansion, I think. Yeah, this is kind of what has to happen. Although the tax is nice. Well, we can just let this burn down on its own. Yeah, we gotta get rid of it. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, Frigia lost a bunch of its territory. Frigia, Pararea. Ooh, that is like a lot of stuff being re rebelling out of them. Why can't I join this kind of rebellion? Like, I really want to be able to, to join a rebellion like this. I want out too. <laughs> Instead, I'm fighting on the other side. Like, come on. Cappadocia is rebelling. I mean, if Cappadocia were to break out of them, everything that weakens free gear is kind of good for me. Within reason. Like, on the other hand, we're also going to need someone against Macedon. We lost a lot of our trade routes. Shit. I can't really spend a hundred bucks. And yeah, our guys are starving now. <sighs> it's not much I can do about it, right? Like, I can't I can't import things from Egypt. That's not a thing. I can't get stuff from Frigia, and those two really have all the goods. They have a lot of goods. That's probably why you go for granaries. Yeah, yeah, we can import our own precious metals. But I'm gonna keep these open for food imports. So I gotta let the aggressive expansion die down. It definitely doesn't look good for free gear. I really hope that all these uh, rebellious areas can actually break away. Maybe Egypt... Like, Egypt has already taken a chunk out of them. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna let this guy get conviction for the civic faction. Uh, free gear is winning here. And now they aren't winning anymore. No longer importing stone. Apparently that was lost. An unfortunate conflagration. Philonides Nesedmid has been a constant thorn in the side of our dear Archon for some time now. It was therefore a source of some interest when his entire estate was engulfed in a raging inferno just last night. This morning Philonides appeared before the Senate on his knees, beseeching us to offer assistance in rebuilding his blackened wreck of an estate. So, we can actually make a friend out of a rival? We can seize the estate. I like it. Let's go. So, Imbros has state on farmland now. Sweet. Yeah, we're gonna let you march through, Boetia. Yeah. Ah, uh, they're fighting Macedon. No! It's fought over Take Laconia. Oh, aggressive expansion died on. That's pretty nice. I really shouldn't get more population currently, since I'm losing so much food that it's actually kind of hideous. Oh, livestock. It's all free gear again. If I want to fight them, I actually have to get like a, a large stockpile. I mean, sure, I can import the iron or the precious metals that we're producing over here, but it's not going to help me. A tale of two cities, the very nature of autonomous city-states, often leads to disagreements between neighboring authorities. In this case, the bustling port city of Lemnos ended up in disagreement with their neighbor Imbros over a minor land dispute. They've been asked to arbitrage over the matter at hand, but it's clear that both settlements will harbor a grudge regardless of your decision. <sighs> both claims seem solid, what a shame. I can just take the money. Oh, land dispute seized. So, do we just piss off both sides? I don't think that's a good idea, so... We'll go inside with Lemnos. Hmm. 
Uh, we lost our religious researcher. Alright then. Come on. Please sell me more food. Situation is kinda dire. Like I need I need population. And soon. Yeah guys, sure you can march through if you want to. of expansion. The Olympic victor has kind of died down. Competing power at war. These guys would actually go for it because we have a common threat. I'm gonna go ahead and improve Macedon's opinion of me. Because maybe I can break away from Phrygia. Ah. And we're no longer importing stone, but that's not as problematic as the... Ooh, grain! From Messenia. Hell yeah! Please. Thank you. And livestock from Pergamon. Awesome. Everything that is food that isn't coming from... That isn't coming from free here is great. I can get glass. But that's free, yeah. No, I really need food for these guys. I mean, it's ticking down very, very slowly, but still. Okay, give me the damn glass. Yeah, nothing else I can do here. I still want more food, but at least this solves the immediate problem. Athens actually has a decent chunk of food income. It is farmland after all. Um, oh, look at this. Livestock, vegetables. So listen. Yes. And... Ah, oh, that's free gear again. Well, I guess we just have to stockpile things. What do we want? Oh, we could get the stone back too. Currently got no stone. Stone was really nice for the defense. Mm. Got plus three livestock, plus two fish. Do we have the vegetables? Yeah, but we don't have the surplus, so let's take the vegetables. Okay, yeah, we could probably do with more investments. But yeah, having letting the aggressive expansion die down definitely helps. To get other people to want to trade with us. Uh, probably the slave raiding is something that we should only do. If we really can't do it a different way. Okay, we're gonna overlook this guy's corruption. For now. Ooh, Thessaly. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's take it from Macedon. Who's, who's next in line? This guy. So he's of the mercantile faction. That is okay with me. Just that the populists are freaking strong. Really strong, actually. We do have a lot of manpower. We could probably build a stronger army than we currently have with our 4,000 men. Like, even just having 20k or something would probably help a lot. Oh, God damn it. Could we, could we maybe just get stuff done here? Yeah, we could also import salt. Get some more population capacity. Ooh, look at this. Vegetables. Pergamenian revolt, that's probably not for long. Livestock. Ah, yeah. Let's get livestock for Moesia. That's nice. God damn it. Hmm. 
I mean, there's a large chunk that now belongs to Egypt. Oh, free. Yeah, we have the roving manets. Uh, yeah, we'll go with the shrine to Dionysos. Or shall we just send 10,000 people in there? Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. But we could maybe actually enlarge our army a little bit. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just because we add manpower max, if we're not using it, then it'll just be lost into nothingness. Mm hmm. This is actually a good ruler now. Very nice. Two diplomatic reputation. Okay. Let me import more vegetables or other things. Ooh. This is free Epictetus. Persian local power. Yeah, it's over here. Yeah, these guys are going to be screwed very soon. There's slave revolts over here in Armenia Minor. 38,000 slaves. That, oh no, it's a migrant horde. Okay. That's also scary. That is also really scary. Hmm. I can get stuff from Soldensia. Maybe we want to get that over here and roll up. No. Yeah, let's get livestock from Soldensia. Why not? The more food income we have that isn't from Frigia, the better. I feel like we're still getting a lot of fish. A lot of livestock and a lot of fish from from Frigia, so we definitely have to build up uh, some counterweight to that. I think we can go with the national tax now. Get some more money. We're enhancing the army after all. I'm still making 12 bucks though. That's kind of a lot. I like it. If we had more buildings, I could probably build marketplaces and exploit that better. Legal chicanery. In an outrageous display of brazen ineptitude, Polymon Philostrid challenged the ownership of a holding belonging to our guy this afternoon with only a set of blatantly forged documents to back up his claim the proceedings did not last long. Uh, we could bump the stability. I find it really interesting that the instability actually helps the populist faction. But, yeah, we'll, we'll take the money. Money is always good. I like money. We could probably enhance the army further. Seeking a patron. As custom dictates the eager yet politically inexperienced man, your Thicrates has approached us in obeisance, asking for our formal patronage. Such a request carries few practical duties, but would increase the standing of your Thicrates amongst his peers. It may also ingratiate us with the Athenian elite. Mm. So this helps him. At us, we seem to be somewhat busy washing our hair. The entire Senate is impressed by the stupendous pun. <laughs> Yeah, let's not make enemies out of other people. Consider it done. We're your patron now. I hope you enjoy that. Mm. Who's this law? The hero fant. This kind of disloyal. Yeah, it's only at 70. Can I kick him out? What does that do? Sacrifice to the gods cost. It doesn't matter then, so we can just put a crony in his place. This guy, that aggressive expansion change reduction is really helping. But we got someone who's more loyal with a better ability, so screw that guy. Yeah, that's a bit more influence. We need it to develop our, our um, lands. To be quite honest. It slows down our experience gain a bit, but it's not horrible. These guys start with a little bit of experience, too. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Nice.
Hmm. Kind of need to build up our fleet. Ah, they allied with the Seleucids now too. Gotta be kidding me. At least they have given up trying to integrate me. I can't do that right now. Hmm. Maybe, maybe we start actually. Um, like trying to fabricate a claim. That's a freaking army. Do they have a fortress here? Yeah. But not here. And also not here. So let's go and actually fabricate a claim. Uh, on Helos. In the dead of night, Chrysippus Philostrid scaled the walls of the abode belonging to Leontios Euxenippid. What he failed to recognize, perhaps, was that Leontios himself was indulging in a late-night wine-tasting session with a few of his closest friends. Needless to say, Chrysippus came to his senses after being pitched from the nearest balcony. <laughs> Good riddance. He's likely to be the next Archon. I hope he dies, actually. I really don't want another populist Archon. This is not good. So we're gonna we're gonna really push here. I wanna get rid of this guy. Succession support. The problem is that the populists are really big. No, oh, we can import wild game, which does absolutely nothing for us. Ah, if we have a surplus, it gives our archers some discipline, but that's it. Um, our stance on corruption has ruffled quite a few feathers among some senators who still have a rather gray view of morality. This guy requested that we back a change in constitution. We would get a lot of money for this. But no. I don't think that's necessary. Come on, I want something other than a wild game. I'm at super low aggressive expansion now, so... That's not a thing. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna go out and... Get some additional slaves now. We gotta up the fleet maintenance. And we lost those to take us. You're it now. Also our leader of this army. Yeah, he has 10 military uh, skill. That's not too bad, actually. Ooh, vegetables. Ooh, from Egypt. We're at peace with Egypt again. Sweet. Mm, infrastructure. We could probably use more trade routes become even richer. Okay, so let's start with the fleet. Let's get some slaves, eh? Okay, this guy. Okay. Bios Toromenid, he's the civil faction leader. He has just one military skill, but still we could we could put him in charge of this. Yeah. He'll now be our admiral, my man. Oh! Did I just give away this fleet? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> okay, that was a stupendous move. Amazing. I mean, he's pretty old. He's going to die at some point, but that was not a good thing. That was not a good thing to be doing. <laughs> oh, man. Healers cancel the right to military access. Oh, freaking hell. Macedon is getting stronger and stronger. They're really strong now. 
I mean, we have improved relations with them. And we should probably also improve with these guys. Maybe. Oh, let's go let's go business investments here. Okay, so he's kinda happy. He gave us a chunk of money, but we lost control of our fleet. Dude, listen. Could I maybe have my fleet back? I gotta bring this guy to trial, I guess. I mean, he's getting more loyal, sure. Let's try to bribe him. I guess we gotta give him a holding. Let's get some Macedonians. Hmm. Yeah, we really need to do something about Macedon. Okay, the military party leader died. That's all right. First Frigian Paphlagonia inferior war. So a couple of countries actually managed to break out of Frigia. Yeah, they did. Hmm. Cappadocia is free. Egypt has eaten a lot of Frigia. They're not quite as strong as they used to be, but they still have 5,000 pops. They're making a crap ton of money and have a lot of cohorts. The only real thing going we have going for us is that our military, uh, like our tech is much, much better. So we have a lot more morale. Um, but that's basically it. Um, these guys also only have half our tech status. But it would be kind of nice if these guys lost Rome as their ally. Like Rome can do a pretty scary amount of power projection towards us too. That's nasty. Hmm. Well, in any case, I gotta end it here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you want to see more of this stuff, then please consider subscribing. Drop a like so it can show up in search results. And I hope you join me for the next episode. Bye-bye.